This bard's tale begins near White Orchard, with my dear friend Geralt of Rivia seeking his lover of yore, the sorceress Yennefer. She'd eluded him for years, but now seemed just a few steps ahead. We have much work to do here. Talk to the commander. <laughs> we must requisition a share of your harvest. I do, I know there is little left in your granaries. Ah, so... How much grain will your village give? Whatever you say, Your Excellency. Look at my hands. Look. See the calluses? These are not the hands of an excellency, but of a farmer. So we speak peasant to peasant. How much can you give? Forty bushels. There'd be more, sir, but our lads, the Temerians, that is, took from us earlier and... You will give thirty, and that will do. Let us settle on it, and I wish to see the transport soon. Oh, thank you, sir. Thank you kindly. I summoned only the elderman and the smith, Willis. But it is said he is a dwarf. You are too tall to be him. Plan to requisition something from him too? If it is necessary, yes, of course. We are at war, in case you have not noticed. Who are you? Speak! Geralt of Rivia. Witcher. Vatgarn. This explains why I did not hear your footsteps. What do you seek here? Yennefer of Vengerberg. Where was she headed? That is a military secret. Haven't thrown me out yet. Haven't called the guards. So go ahead. What's your price? There is a griffin in the area. Slay it. And then I shall see what I can do. It's a deal. Some questions before I start. Know where the griffin has its lair? It kept to the Vulpine Woods at first. I sent a patrol there, five young men. A hunter found them two days on. They only recognized them because they wore our plate. Since then, the griffin has grown bold. Attacks in villages, fields, on the main road. Meaning it's abandoned its lair. Gonna have to set a trap. I judge from your tone this will not be easy. What do you require? Need more information about this griffin, its sex, why it's abandoned its lair. Shall I bring you witnesses? They won't say anything I don't already know. I need to go where your men died. Look around. What's the name of the hunter who found them? Mislov. He has a hut south of the village, very near the wood. Helpful fellow. A little strange, though. I'll need bait. A specific herb. Buckthorn. Scent should lure the griffin from ten miles off. Buck... Buckthorn? I do not know this. But I am not yet fluent in the common tongue. Mm -hmm. Probably mastered the basics, though. Hands up. Kill them. No. First came idioms. Don't play with fire, for example. Go to Tomira, an herbalist. She lives near the crossroads. She will aid you. Tamira and Mislav. Thanks. Es sun diakten. We have much work to do here. Quite a lot. Come on, Ru. 
approach. Go, go. That's it, Roach. Guardians were celebrating. Griffin interrupted them. Grounds black, saturated with blood. Faster. Come on now. Hey there. These prints are older and deeper, heavily armored. Guardians, probably.
place of power should draw from it. have already hatched, been dead at least a week. Other griffin must be a male. Deep cuts over the whole body. Not a drop of blood on the beak or claws. Didn't defend herself. Crept up on her while she slept. Beak tips worn. Gray hairs in the coat. Ten, twelve years old. Griffins pair off for life when young. Male must be about the same age. Thick shaft, dense barbs. A royal griffin. Explains why the male I ran into was so aggressive. Hunted the Nilf Guardians down here in the forest first, then started prowling the area. Lost your key, ma'am? No, not me key. Me pan. It always sat there empty, this hurt. That is, till the night afore the battle. A man arrived, walked right in like to his own. He was standing at me window, peering at the goings on. He must have heard me, cause next I knew, there he was, coming my way. So, 
I grabbed me pan for protection, see? But he just asks all polite. Gran, got any birch bark by chance? Lilac berries or even a few coals? Nay, says I. And you must be right daft to pester folk at night with such foolery. Now he sees he ain't listening. Just staring at me pan like a magpie at a copper. Lend it to me, Gran. I'll give it back come morn. He's right baffled for what's he doing, frying in the dark. But I've got a soft heart, so I gave it to him. Fascinating story. Any chance you're nearing the end? Before dawn, another rode up to the hut. But come morn, only the first fella left. Locked the door, hopped on his horse, and that were all I saw of him. And me pan. Twere old, black with soot, not worth much, I suppose. But I've no other. Will you help me, dearie? Bring an old widow or a pan. I could never break down that door myself. And in truth, I'm afeard to go in any road. Such a stench wafting out. Me thinks the other fellow. Well, that he's lying there. Sorry, got more important things to worry about. Yeah, even more important than your pan. Last time I lend out my pan. Go, go. Not so fast, Roach.
Yes? What is it, Wolf? Got good news and bad news. Good news first. Captain of the Nilfgaardian garrison knows where Yennefer went. And the bad's that we have to kill the Griffin for him. What else could he want from two witchers? Go on. Tell me what you know. Griffin's abandoned its lair. Gotta make a lure, set a trap. And how's that going? Got the buckthorn. Ought to work like a charm. Powerful scent. More like stench. City boy. Rotting meat, manure, piss. Standard smells of the countryside. Remember Tredegor? Hunting that zoogle in the trash heap? You spent half the next day bathing, scrubbing yourself. How can I forget? You ever gonna stop bringing that up? Learn some things. It's a male, had its nest in the Vulpine Woods. The Nilfgaardians burned the woods down, killed its mate, smashed their eggs. Thought they'd fixed things. <laughs> it's always the same. Instead of sending for a professional, they try to do it themselves, only end up making matters worse. <laughs> Fine. If everything's ready, say the word and we'll get to work. I'm ready. No point in waiting. Let's find a good spot to ambush it. Picked one out already, other side of the stream. There's fields and a grove. Plenty of room and far enough so no one will get in our way. Good. Meet you there.